Kids. Well, hello, kids. Today is Tuesday, November 12th, 2024. We are halfway through November. Wow. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. <laughs> this is Miss Danica and Mr. Johnny. And we are so happy that you're listening to the Biblically Centered Kids podcast. Do you know what today is? Well, you guessed right, because today is Old Old Testament Testament Tuesday. Tuesday. Each Tuesday, we will read stories from the Old Testament in the Bible that illustrate that week's biblical family virtue. The Bible is a book given to us from God that tells us all about Him. When we read it, we can discover what He's done in the past and then learn what He has to say to us today. So let's get into God's Word where we can find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our Creator. This week's virtue is all about truthfulness, being honest with our words and actions. Virtue T says we talk truthfully and appropriately and do not mislead people with our words. The story of Cain and Abel teaches us the importance of being truthful with God and ourselves. Sometimes when we let our hearts fill with anger or jealousy, It can lead us to make wrong choices, and one lie can lead to more bad decisions. Let's explore what happens when Cain doesn't tell the truth and how it causes even more trouble for him. Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. Abel was a shepherd who took care of sheep, and Cain worked in the fields growing crops. One day, both brothers brought an offering to the Lord. Abel brought his very best, the firstborn of his flock, and God was pleased with Abel's gift because it came from a sincere heart. But Cain's offering of fruits from his crops wasn't given with the same love and care, and God wasn't pleased with Cain's gift. Cain became very angry and upset. God saw this and spoke to him. Why are you so angry, Cain? If you do what's right, you'll be accepted too. But be careful, sin is waiting to trip you up, and you must resist it. Well, instead of listening to God, Cain let anger grow in his heart. One day, he asked his brother Abel to go with him in the field. And while they were there, Cain did something terrible. He hurt Abel and killed him because he was jealous. Later, God asked Cain, where is your brother brother, Abel? 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 Cain not wanting to tell the truth, replied, I don't know, am I supposed to look after him all the time? But God knew what Cain had done and said, What have you done? Your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground. Because Cain chose to lie and hide his actions instead of being truthful, God told him that he would no longer be able to farm the land and he would become a wanderer, moving from place to place. Cain's lie didn't make things any better. It only made things worse for him. Cain's story shows us how one bad choice can lead to another, especially when we try to cover up our mistakes with lies. If Cain had been honest with God from the start, things might have been different. But instead of telling the truth, he let his anger and jealousy take over, which led to more sin. This story reminds us that it's always better to be truthful, even when we've made a mistake. Being honest helps us stay close to God and helps us from making things worse by covering up the truth. Let's pray. God, help us to be truthful in our words and actions. The Bible is full of stories that start with one lie or a little bit of deceit, and then they spiral out of control. We don't want our lives to unravel or to be full of sin. Help us to speak the truth, even when it's hard. Help us to own up to our mistakes and poor choices. God, we ask that you would forgive us of any sins and help us to be truthful starting today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, don't forget to tell your mom or dad to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on Biblically Centered Virtue. And we are so glad you joined us today in the Old Testament. Until next time.